Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. That's being lost. Alright, guys. So today I'm gonna be cooking pigtail soup, red pea soup. And as you can see right here, because I don't have my video personnel today, so I have to be doing the video by myself. So as you can look right here. That's the pigtail, yes. So I'm gonna let it soak in the cold water first for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, then I throw off that water and then I'm gonna scald it. So I'll probably give it two boil. Boil it first, throw off the water, then boil it again and throw off the water and then we can start pressuring it with the red peas. So see I have my peas right here ready. And as you can see right there, all the ingredients ready up. So right there, as you can see, I have my peas, sweet potato. You know the sweet potato, this is very important to the red pea soup. The sweet potato give it that thickness that you're looking for, you know, because of all the starch. And I have my all-purpose, my coconut milk, my spicy cock soup, my yam, yellow yam. And as you can see right there, a lot of ground provision. The pumpkin and the carrot too also are rich in the soup, give it a nice rich color. You know, no, this put one side, this not gonna be in it. So we also have our green pepper, which is very important, just like with the rice and peas. Green pepper, very important. And over here is the cornmeal and the flour. This I gonna give with a nice little dumpling them, you know. Just like the stew peas, they make spinners, but in this, are some dumpling, you know. And the pressure pot is right here where I'm going to do the trick to make the peas soft and nice and the pigtails soft and nice. So, as you can see, we actually have everything. And again, the pigtail is over there, soaking, giving it a 10 minutes. So, I'll stop the video for now and I'm going to start preparing some stuff and... The next step, I'll start videoing the next step, okay? Alright, so this is the first boiling. So I'm gonna give it one more after this, and then after this, now it's time to pressure with the peas. So as you can see, you know, scalding it. Because you don't want your soup too salty, you know, so better you bring up the flavor than it too salt, and then you have your water doing your something, you know? so. This is the first boiling. I'm gonna throw this off now. Ah. What happened? It? Show it off. I never know 
I always keep a cooked cheese soup and see my mother cooked cheese soup, but I never know if I have so much money to take to cook cheese soup. You know? So, when I'm going to fire a bowl of red cheese soup, and it's really valuable because um, I almost $3,000. I spend just to cook one pot. And you never get everything. The more ones. You can imagine. It may be get everything. <laughs> yeah. You need the flower. You see, sometimes you have some people who need flower when you look. You see flower in the pot and you can see them. I don't like it. I don't know. I'm a little. I drop. You try to make sure that I need flower. And I give up for what you want to Sometimes, you know, just a little bit of 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 a little and the sauce, mommy, mommy never draw no, no pump. You see that? You see that, people? Sorry, you never fuck me. Some girl, they, they like sauce in the meal. Yes. Not saying we have anything against sauce in the meal, you know, because we like so many females. And the worst thing about it is that they can't eat nothing. <laughs> and they, you see, the problem is they can't eat flour. That's my problem. I used to say I tried to look at you again. So, so that's it for the floor. Wash my hands now. So probably about five minutes to leave to transfer over the food time and the spices. I'm gonna peel the yam now and the sweet potato. That's the next step. So
Pepper, so if some of the flavor can escape, you know. So I have the pimento seed in. I put the thyme. So now I'm gonna let this cook for about ten more minutes while that the pot start boiling up. I'm gonna have my dumpling knead and ready. So by the time it start boiling up, I can throw in my cock soup, my coconut milk, and my maggi all purpose. I love maggi all purpose. I don't know why. I just love all purpose. But the cock soup I gonna be the thing now. Big up to Grace, you know, where I gonna give it that touch, you know. <laughs> when we just see this I turn out good, you know? I just see it turning out good. Yeah, so gonna start doing the dumplings now by that the pot would already be boiling up. Yeah. But first gonna wash out these as I tell you. As I told you, I don't like a dirty kitchen. So as I use something, I try to get the kitchen clean. For some reason, dirty kitchen does throw me out. So we finished cleaning the dishes, and now scallion, very important. Just like with rice and peas, very important for flavoring. But instead of cutting it up, I'm gonna beat it out because I strongly believe that when you beat it out, you get more flavor from it, you know, for some reason. So now I'm just gonna beat it out and then add it. Add in our scallion, as I told you, good for flavoring. You don't want to close the pot fully for it to boil over on you. So now it's time to make the dumplings and when we put the dumplings then it's time for the sweet potato and the yam and it's just waiting for it to finish from there so Flow along. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know why people always do it like this, but you know, I guess. I mean, some people like long things when they, when they stretch out. It's, a, it's tradition. It have a length, yeah? I don't know where you were taking it, but. <laughs> I'm just thinking about cooking. Alright, so. Time to add the 
dumplings. <laughs> roly, roly. <laughs> See? Peanuts. Not making them too big. Even though I like big dumplings, but. Yeah? Oh, you like when they're big? Yeah. And we have to put some roly poly to it because it can't. This is like the drum just like a splash point. <laughs> a chill one in and it splash. <laughs> People and it's very hot, so don't mind the sweating. My makeup artist is not here at the moment. You know? Yeah. Please leave your likes and your comments in the comment section if you thought I did a good job or if there's anything you would add or you would minus from the way I cook my red pea soup. But in the end, so far, looks good. And there's another little trick to it that I'm gonna teach you ladies how to put in the, the, the tire. <laughs> Not car tire. <laughs> the, the time. <laughs> because you can't have a red pea soup without you know Johnny can stay. I'm just joking people. <laughs> the tire. The or the tire. <laughs> Okay. Because some jacket don't come with tire, then come with bow. <laughs> Alright. If you're gonna make some like this, mommy, mommy, I think you never watch her. You have to have some rural ones like that. Because <laughs> who said, who, who, if you say mommy never do something like that, you're lying. Some of you, you call those pinners. You know? <laughs> so you think you can cook better than fly? Oh, fly, fly don't only talk like you can cook, you know? Fly a challenger. A challenger fly. To make a video of you cooking red pea soup and let the viewers be the judge. Because you love going like you can cook, you know. Cook mackerel and rice and I go and top chef. <laughs> Yeah, big up to all the viewers too, you know, we have to big up y'all because you guys are very important to our careers because if it weren't for you guys, who would have a watch me? So, I have to say shout out to, to my, the, the viewers and Big up to cool, <laughs> cool FM. See me cooking on the show. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, people. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna put in the sweet potato. See the flavor thing that we're going in there. Now in the people. Yeah, chew it too hard, want to splash it on you. Ooh. All right. Give it a stir around. Yeah. yeah. Then you cover. As I told you before, don't like it. Ooh. The place is hot. Yeah. So, I just added my grey coconut milk and then after I add the coconut milk to the pot, I'm gonna 
use the gray stock so it makes you know spicy for some reason I just like spicy I like spicy yeah so no spice no spicy yeah it's still same spice I'll pay you to be there and I should talk <laughs> This camera man want to get me in trouble with, with dance uh, people. I don't normally. Alright, so see people mixing out properly. You know? I don't like lumps. I don't like when you, when you have lumps eat. So normally I use the, the, the warm water from what I'm cooking to use and mix it up because I really don't like the lumps. But normally though, they, 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 fortunately, the grace coconut will don't leave a lot of lumps for some reason. It always mix up properly for me. So big up to Grace, as I told you. Yeah. So now I can show it inside. This now got to thicken it and give it that nice. If I was still living in the country now, I'd pick my coconut and Great it or, or, or blend it, but you know, you see the dumpling and people. Whoa, pot rich. <laughs> Smell good. I wish there was an app on phone so people could smell, smell things through the phone, you know, but I guess they don't come up with such technology as it, you know, cook it again, give the coconut milk like 15 minutes to cook properly, then I can add my grey scum soup, and then it's waiting time to eat. So I just give the coconut milk like five minutes to boil out a bit. So now I'm gonna add the cock soup. You know, some people add it same time, but uh, uh, like when the coconut milk get it time first to cook out. So now I'm gonna add the gray stock soup. And that's the final part of the recipe. So now all we're gonna do is wait for the food to cook and the capsule to cook out and that's the order of the day I need a taller fork you know because I can't afford to get burned see the dumpling people yep remember you did give it a taller fork and then go with a prank yeah Alright, uh, a skull, the pig tail so good. I think you can take a toops of salt. So I'm gonna give it a toops of salt. And that's it for Diego's red peas. Alright, right, as you can see, people, you don't want all your peas or everything to stuck one place. So um, mixing it properly i just found this spatula thingy so i'm mixing it properly so it's equally shared the, the seasoning the coconut milk everything and you see how rich that look beautiful so now when you finish boiling it in a bagel when all the food is finished cooking you can boil it how long you want to boil it to your desire of thickness i really like when it's thick so i let it boil a little longer so you determine your desire and how you desire it and you can stop it at that level but I'm gonna make it boil a bit longer so I can get that right thickness that I desire and this has been Diego's <laughs> tutorial or Diego cooking red pea soup so the final part now is when you finish and you see we're putting it in the bowl thumbs up, it's gonna be nice Mm. When I really make me daddy, I don't know that I wait for me to post the video, then I come cuss. When I realize that I never cut up.
the pigtail, me, show me a concentrate on the video. You can't leave the pigtail so big in a day. In a day, so. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get cut up after, after. So, now it's cut up time. Close the knife. It's so tender. Cutting up easy. Okay, flood. Yes, when you don't have the proper things working with what can happen. Pigtail looking so ready for eating. Pigtail on run. <laughs> I realize. You can't taste this. Hmm? Oh, no, when you finish. <laughs> when you finish. Yeah, I get all the taste in the world you want. Alright, so now I can have a lip back. Wow, look at the richness. Look at the richness. Look at the richness. <laughs> you still you still end up manage to get some. This one is a very <laughs> See why thick people? So thick. Give put pigtail, you know? Give him dumpling. Sweet potato. That's Diego's red peas soup. Beautiful.